wisdom, understanding, power, grace, faith, honor, glory, grace, power, joy, and peace while we press. Press, press on. We can, we can press, press on. We can press in this upper room. We can press, press on, press. Press, we can press in this upper room. Yeah, 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 in this love, yeah, 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 In this upper room, above the heavens, you can press, 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 you can press in this upper room. Above the heavens, you can press. Press on, press, press, in this upper room.
press on above the heaven, above the heaven. Glory and honor, power and praise to the Lamb. To the Lamb, glory and honor, power and praise to the Lamb who reigns, who reigns, glory, honor, power and praise. To the Lamb reigns forevermore. Glory and honor, power and praise to the Lamb who reigns forevermore. Saints, we are doing some teachings today. Doing some teachings. You're all I want. You're all I ever, I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know. Help me know you are near. You're all I want. Oh, oh, oh. you're all I ever, I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know. Help me know you are near. Help me know that you are near. Help me know you are near. Help me know that you are near. Help me know that you are near. Help me know you are near. We are, we are continuing the move of God with these teachings today. See, some of y'all thought I was going to hit that high note. Gotcha. <laughs> you thought I was going to hit that high note. Gotcha. You thought I was going to hit that high note. Gotcha. Help me know you are near. Help me know that you are near. Help me know you are. <laughs> You're all I want. You're all I ever I needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are near. Help me know that you are near. You thought I was going to hit that high note. Gotcha. Help me know that you are near. Ooh, help me know that you are near. Ooh, help me know that you are near. Ooh. All right, we are 
Let's go over here to um, All right, in uh, third John. Okay, let's go to second uh, John. Second John chapter one, verse eight it says, look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we may receive a full reward. Let's go to verse nine. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. <sighs> Let's go to verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed, that mean like God bless you. It says that he is a partaker of his evil deeds. Okay, look to yourselves that we lose not the things that we have wrought. I'm talking more so in the bracket of a sower on here. I'm talking to sowers because so sowers are the sowers are only sowers are people that I deem wise. So I'm talking to sowers on here. When it says look to yourselves that we lose not the things that we have wrought, you gotta understand when you're sowing, you unlocking things. Things are on its way to you. Things are en route to you. You're creating things and building things. It says, look to yourselves that we lose not the things which we have wrought. That means that you have already unlocked this. It is yours, but you don't want to lose it. You can lose what you have unlocked. So in your life, you must think about it. Why does Satan tempt me to go opposite to what God actually wants in my reactions, my learning? If you ever meet somebody that get irritated about learning, you met a fool. Because saints, the only way that you can operate in wisdom is through learning. That's the only way you can operate in purity is through learning. That's the only way you can operate in being born again through learning. So if you stop learning, that means that you're a fool. That means that you, you, you're a fool. If learning irritates you, that means that you're a fool. Saints, when I got with Dr. Mike Murdoch, I ain't never built no library. But I built a library with Dr. Murdoch. Because learning. I ain't never built no library. You go look back in my past and see if I built a library. Nope. But I learned. I learned how to pick the brick, the, the, the material here and pick the screw here and pick the, 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 the shelf here. And we made bookshelves. Look to yourselves that we lose not the things that we have wrought. When you are sower, you're unlocking things. You're creating things. So. You have to protect. That's why it says look to yourselves. Because you got to examine yourself to see if you're allowing the enemy to take you out of what you have created. What you have set in motion. What you have uh, brought forth. You have to look to yourself to see if you are permitting deception in any area of your life. Now, saints, if you look to yourselves, you'll never be rebuked. If you look to yourselves, you'll never be rebuked. People get rebuked because they're not looking to themselves. And so you're not identifying darkness. So someone comes to you and tells you about the darkness. You're not identifying what's uncooked in your person. 
So the person will come and tell you about what's uncooked in your person. Just remember that. You are not identifying illegal conversations, illegal relationships. So the person will come and talk to you about illegal relationships and illegal conversations. If you don't look to yourself, you activate rebuke. If you take a note, write that down. Because you're unwilling to do it yourself. So saints, I want you to catch this. A lot of people live their whole life at a lower vibration. A lower bracket of life. Because if you live your whole life being rebuked, that means that you live your whole life being slow as well. And when you live slow, you also reap slow as well. Because remember, during seed time, time, you're, you're being trained for that harvest. You're being prepared for that harvest. But if we look at it, the preparation is being extended. See, saints, I don't like waiting long periods of time. So um, even when I was a teenager, I let the Holy Spirit show me uh, what to avoid and what to learn and what to increase in. And then all throughout my 20th years, uh, in my, I'm in my 20s currently, I took the time to just let the Holy Spirit teach me what I needed to um, uh, increase what I needed to not learn and what I needed to uh, uh, teach. And so a good teacher is a good learner. An excellent teacher is an excellent learner. So the reason why someone could teach you so precisely is because they learn precisely. You can understand how the humility is set up by the way that they could teach. So if you ever meet me and you start trying to tell me, well, I need to, you, you, you need somebody to teach you. Like you obviously don't know who I am because I got here by learning. I am here by learning. I will always be here by learning. Hebrews 5, 8 says that he, uh, he learned obedience. Jesus, the son of God, God manifested in the flesh, learned obedience. Think about that. So it was all about learning. Look to yourselves that we lose not the things which we have wrought, that we receive a full reward. My question to you is, will you receive a full reward? Don't sow and honor God and then mess up on receiving a full reward because the full reward going to come. Don't, 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 don't get this far and then mess up. It says that we may receive a full reward. So you might not receive a full reward. Look to yourselves that we lose not the things which we have wrought. When you're sowing, the kingdom of heaven is loose to come to you, to get to you. You don't want to miss one ounce of what the kingdom has been unlocked to bring to you. You want to let it keep on coming. Let the money keep on coming. Let the favor keep on coming. Don't lose the things that you have wrought. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. It says, Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. I want to point something out in uh, Revelation 5.12. Jesus, after he carried his cross, he received all the riches and wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. So, people of God, this is what comes to you when you successfully carry your cross. There's a reason why the word of God is talking about what Jesus received. Now, you notice where it said, it didn't say worthy is the lion. It says worthy is the lamb. Because in the lamb realm, you have to lay down your life and it's going to look like you being taken advantage. In the lamb realm, you have to go through training. See, a lamb is taught to sow. A lamb is taught to pray. A lamb is taught to forgive others. A lamb is taught reactions. 
a lamb is taught excellency. So if we look at this text, we see it's saying, worthy is the lamb that was slain. See, the lamb was slain. That means killed. So for you to get to riches and blessing and honor and strength and glory, you have to operate from the lamb realm and not the lion realm. Because the lion realm will seek to exercise its superiority too. The lion realm will fight back. The lion realm will take itself out of the divine death and come back alive and start trying to speak up and talk up and do what it wants. But the lamb stays killed, slain. You can't get to your harvest until you embrace the lamb in you. See, some of you are you so focused on embracing the lion in you that you haven't embraced the lamb. And so every time you're in a situation, the lion come out. <laughs> and that's a lamb situation. You living with somebody right now, you, you want the lion to come out. No, 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 that's a lamb situation. They come to you and say, I want you to clean dishes five times a week. Clean them dishes. Clean the dishes. Stop responding with lying in lamb situations. You're going to mess up on your harvest. Remember what we just read in 2 John. Be careful. Look to yourself. That you do not lose the things which you have wrought, but that you receive a full reward. Because that lamb realm in your personality will protect money coming. It'll protect finances. It'll protect favor. It'll protect endorsement. It will protect having a sponsor, having someone that likes you. Remember, saints, your money situation will end up by who likes you. The wisdom of God makes you likable. Being led by the Holy Spirit makes you likable. Saints, if I see a man underneath the bridge, I know nobody likes him. I know that. Because your money situation is decided by who likes you. If I see somebody and they tell me they've been homeless for 10 years, I know nobody likes them. And saints, I'm going to tell you this. Homelessness is not humility. Homelessness allows you to, to be trained in humility, but it's not humility. So there, there's some people think that because I, I'm homeless, I'm humble. No, no. If, you, if you're homeless for a long period of time, you're stupid. When you are in the lamb realm, provision will be able to keep on flowing because you know how to handle situations with the spirit of gentleness, the Holy Ghost. Remember, I said money cometh by the fruit of the spirit, by the fruit of the spirit. Money cometh by the fruit of the spirit. And gentleness is a fruit of the spirit, but it's the lamb realm. Hallelujah.